Well, to begin with, it was quite clear that, that given the state of the Russian military at the time, there was a serious need for upgrading, for, for uh, purchasing modern, well-functional military hardware. But on second thought, if we know that corruption within the military normally proceeds via setting up large state orders, inflating the price, and then sharing the proceeds, that is the normal model of corruption. And if we add that the Ministry of Defense has publicly acknowledged that maybe 30% of the budget for the Ministry of Defense is lost every year, then if we say that the, the State Armament Program is costed at about six or seven hundred billion dollars, if 30% of that goes missing, then we can imagine that there were a lot of people who now expect that they will have a nice share of this pie. Well, in a sense, he was. Uh, Sevdyukov was originally from the, from the Federal Tax Service. Uh, he was a civilian and he was a, a hard man. He, his tax service was made infamous uh, for videos they shot of themselves in black ski masks, attacking, literally attacking, heavily armed uh, company to, to, to take, take their accounting. Uh, when Sevyukov was appointed Minister of Defense, he was sending a signal to the generals that there was a new sheriff in town. And he also started out his tenure at the Ministry of Defense by, by publicly insulting the generals, by calling them little green men, and by appointing female staffers from the, from the tax ministry to, to positions of control in the Ministry of Defense that was normally reserved for three-star generals. So we really did antagonize people. But he also pushed through very serious reform. And part of this reform, which probably was his, his downfall, was that he, he started indicating that Russian weaponry was substandard. It was clearly inferior to foreign-made weaponry. And they wanted to start purchasing weapons abroad, which they did to some extent. And that obviously enraged people within the military-industrial complex. And when President Putin finally fired Minister Sevdyukov, that was probably the result of a plot against him from people who now again have the upper hand that the Russian Ministry of Defense is going to go back to purchasing Russian-made inferior military uh, material rather than importing from abroad. So uh, my take on this is that this has been a, a way of forcing Putin into taking action that he did not want to. And this indicates that he may not have the power over his lieutenants that he used to. And if we add that there is a general feeling in Moscow now that Putin is weak and ineffective uh, and that his things may be numbered, that he may actually not be able to serve out his current a term in office, definitely not be re-elected in 2018, then the Serdyukov matter may be the sort of start of a campaign against Putin uh, from people in the background who have their roots within the military-industrial complex, who resented Serdyukov's actions, and who may want to teach Putin a lesson.